As you can see, we have 5M working in 2023 for GTA, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to get 5M installed in your computer. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step to actually downloading and installing 5M for GTA 5 is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install 5M. Of course, you could read through the guide, look at the screenshots. We have detailed explanation in here on how to install 5M. But for those of you that just wanna follow along the video, then let's go ahead and keep going. Once you're here in the guide, scroll down until you see the download 5M button like this, and then go ahead and click on that. And that is going to redirect you to the official website for 5M. Once you're over here, you're going to click download client. Make sure it's this one, 5M.exe. Go ahead and click on that. Now, ideally you will read through this and you will click that you agree, but we all know that we're gonna skip through this and we're just gonna click that we agree, right? So make sure you click this little button down here that says agree. Go ahead and click on that. And that is going to start the download for 5M. As you can see, I downloaded it earlier. So it's asking me where to save it, but don't worry, I'm going to re-download it and reinstall it for you guys so you guys can follow along. If you are using the newer version of Chrome, the installation file will show here in the top right after you click on this little arrow. If you still have the outdated version, it will be down here. And if you're using some other browser, well, I hope you understand your browser. Anyways, once you found the file to install 5M, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now to start the installation process, simply double click on 5M and that is going to start the installation. As you can see, it says updating 5M. Just give it a second. And also very important guys is that you have localized your GTA 5 folder. And what I mean by that is by finding out where you install GTA, as you can see, my 5M already has found where I have GTA installed. Now, I know some of you might have bought GTA through Steam or through Epic Games. For example, I have it through Epic Games, as you can see right here. This is where I have my Epic Games folder. As you can see, if I click on Epic Games, you can see all my games in there from Epic Games and then obviously GTA 5. And this is the folder we're supposed to find. Now, if you use a Steam, let's say that you use a Steam instead of Epic Games, you could actually find that folder by opening a Steam, selecting GTA 5, and then going to the settings and finding the installation folder. And you could actually do the same for Epic Games. If you wanna find the installation folder, I'm going to go ahead and launch my Epic Games. And I'm going to show you how to get this installation folder because you are gonna need it for 5M to find your game and in order to work properly. So let's say that you bought the game in Epic Games, go to library, find the game that you're looking for. In this case, obviously it's GTA. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down for GTA, click on these little three dots right here, and then go to where it says manage. And right here in manage, as you can see, it says installation, and you could click on this little open installation folder location right here, right? You click in there, that is going to open the folder that has the location for your game, and you just copy this little address right here on top, this little line, and that is going to give you the location of your folder, and you're going to put that in the installer for uh, 5M right here, right? So we're just gonna paste that in here, and you could do the same with the Steam, same process that you see with Epic Games, just find where you install GTA, and then go ahead and click on GTA 5.exe, and click on open down here in the bottom right. As you can see, there's the open button right there. I was in the way covering it up, but I moved so you guys could see it. Just go ahead and click on that, and that is going to keep going with the process. And it might prompt you with this right here. And I was hoping it would prompt me with this. This means it needs to update the local data or something like that. Just click yes, okay? It's just a little quick update. It shouldn't be long. And after this, 5M should be installed. It's not really a complicated process. It's really a two or three minutes installations and that's it. You're set to play with 5M to play role play. So let's go ahead and wait for this to open. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually get started in playing online. Now also keep in mind, if you don't have Discord, most servers will require you to have Discord, at least Discord to join uh, the, the server, right? Most roleplay servers will require you to have Discord. So I do recommend that you have Discord installed and also you're going to need a Steam. For those of you that install GTA through Epic Games, like I did, you're still gonna need a Steam to log in into the servers. It's still gonna require you to have an Steam account. So once you're over here in 5M, you could go ahead and create an account if you want for uh, CFX. What I always do is link my account with Discord or Steam and I always have it connected here and that way I don't need to log in to CFX. Also, if you don't like the music that you are hearing here in the browser or the launcher, I'm sorry, you could go to interface and you could go where it says enable background music and take it off. And that way you don't have that loud music here when you're in the launcher. And that is pretty much how to install 5M. If you wanna play on a server, just click on play and then just find the server that you wanna play for and just click on it. Many different servers will have different requirements for you to join. But yeah, that is pretty much how to install 5M. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, bye-bye.